Customer states he has an oxygen sensor code. Well, this is what I pulled out with all the wires cut. Wonder why he's got that code. Just pulled it in the shop. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. I already tightened this one. Yeah. Someone done fucked up. Spot 3.9. If your steering wheel vibrates a lot at high speeds, it might be time for some new tie rods. First, grab the safety plate, line it up with the steering rack, screw on the inner tie rod hand snug, grab your inner tie rod tool, and pick the attachment that sets flush on the flat section. Now slide on the rest of the tool, stick a torque wrench on the end, and torque it down. Next, grab some grease, rub it into the joint, just like that, slide on the dust shield, stick it with the metal clamps. Alright, that looks good. Now screw on the locking nut, and also the new outer tie rod. The same number of rotations it took to get it off. 21, 22, Nice. Finally pop it into the knuckle, like so. Screw on the castle nut, slide in the cotter pin, and bend it back, looking good. And then just snug up the locking nut. Oof. Got a mower in today. Customer states, no start. I don't think it's flooding. I should call her. Customer says blown out tire. customer states he feels lucky to be alive hmm. you know you're a good mechanic when you have one more bolt left over than when you took it apart you just did it better than the manufacturer bud I love this van <laughs> customer states um, okay that the radio don't work. <laughs> Let's check it. Oh. Customer states, I have a leaking gas tank. Customer states, steering is a little loose. Gee, I wonder why.